okay, given the heat equation del u del t equal to del okay, u2 del x2 x from 0 to 1 t is greater than 0 with the boundary conditions u0 t equal to 20 t squared and u1 t equal to 10 t then for t greater than 0 and the inertia conditions okay and the inertia conditions is given by ux0 equal to x1 minus x okay for x okay 0 up to 1 solve the heat equation by taking delta x equal to h equal to 0 0.25 and delta t equal to k equal to 0 0.01 until t equal to 0 0.03 using the explicit k finite difference methods so is k first thing k <clears throat> Let's see, easy. Let copy it. So, I mean, here C squared is 1. Okay, here, you may, let's say you do this one, you can. I copy here. Control C. Control V, C squared is 1. Okay, and go back. Delta T still is 0 0.01. Delta H is 0 0.25. So chain H 0 0.25. Then you can get the R and 1 minus 2R. Okay, uh, quickly. And then you can this one, Control C. Let's say I paste it. Right. Oh, because not equal. This is R equal one minus two R equal R. Uh. Okay, and then uh, look back here. X zero to one T up to zero point zero three. So let me put out T. 0. Mm. 0. 0. 0.03 0. 0.02 okay let me select okay. no bottom copy it down 0. 0.01 0. 0.0 okay x 0 increment 0. 0.25 and select it make center okay drag it 0.75 up to 1. This is x. Okay, and then the inertia conditions. Okay, I put boundary condition first. U0t equal to 20t squared. Yeah. Okay, this one, U0t. So when x 0, u is 20t squared. Okay, so it's 20 times t is here power 2 okay make it center okay uh, drag it up okay later on u1 t is 10 t yeah u1 t is equal 10 time click the t here okay center drag up these are the grids that you want to solve. So you have to fill in the left boundary. U0t is equal to 20t squared. U1t is 10t. And then you need, what is that? Inertia condition. Okay, inertia condition here. Okay, when t0, u is x times 1 minus x. So here, x is here. x multiply. 1 minus click x center it yeah 
So mean G here. So you fill in the left boundary initial condition, right boundary condition. Now okay, you want to keep okay, uh, calculate you got nine value here. So your molecule. Okay, the cell that you want to calculate here, this one is actually U11 because when you have I here, I is start from zero. This is one. Okay, discretity actually using J. J is actually from zero, one. You drag up. So this cell is actually what we refer U11. I mean, I is 1, J is 1. Okay, to calculate U11 is actually uh, your molecule. Okay, the R, which is 0 0.16, multiply left bottom plus 1 minus 2R. Make sure you constant it, otherwise type in 0 0.68. So multiply center bottom plus R here. Make sure you constant it. Multiply right bottom. Okay, if you want to round, R O U N D, round it to four. Okay, and then copy. Okay, now you already selected the whole level one. Get the right bottom cell, click, drag it up. Done. Can check it. Point five five one seven. Point zero one eight. Let me check. Yeah, correct. Can copy, control C, put it here. See, hmm, center not correct. This cell, okay, hold on. Why one six seven five? H is point two five K R. Check. R is one minus two R. Okay, C C squared is one. H is point two five. K is zero point zero five. E F G C D E correct. Why is it? Different there. Unless the R, let me check in R. K is 0 0.01 divide by Okay. So just now, okay, the mistake here, right bottom uh, coefficient is. R, I wrongly click at 0 0.68. So you may try this one. Either you want to, okay, the normal, okay, cal uh, calculate menu, put out 0 0.16A plus 0 0.68B plus 0 0.16C, or you can use a spreadsheet menu there, or easy, you just directly using Microsoft Excel. I mean, if you use okay, the normal okay, calculation uh, menu, calculate menu, I mean, you want to target here. This one. Okay, your formula is 0.16 alpha A plus 0.68 alpha B plus 0.16 okay, alpha C. Then you calculate. Okay, A is the left bottom is 0. Then center bottom 0.1875. C, right bottom 0.25. So you get here, 0.1675. And then, okay, move, okay, one column here. 
So you have to repeat one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. You have to repeat nine times. Calculate one by one. Okay, if you use K Excel, okay, you key in, make sure uh, just now the formula is correct, but just now wrong because the coefficient for right bottom I can miss equal it to one minus two R. That's why okay, wrong K uh value at the I mean the nine cell value there is wrong because the coefficient here wrong. So once K uh you make sure K okay, R one minus two R R here, the coefficient left bottom, center bottom, right bottom is correct. Okay, and then you key in the first cell value is correct. Okay, then you just copy it to the right, copy it up, everything will be okay, correct. So it's okay, faster and easy compared you use calculate menu. Okay, unless okay, you don't have the okay, laptop with you, then you have to perform it manually. Lah. Then you have to calculate one by one. 